Well, hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARCOM News, your twice-weekly dose of the finest 2A propaganda. Everybody knows that police are enchanted beings more equal than the rest of us plebes. When they graduate from the academy, the head warlock bestows magical powers, and that's why gun control laws always exempt police officers. It's not that they're better than us, it's just that they are better than the rest of us. You think you're better than other people? Just the ones I'm better than. But this politicritter apparently didn't get the memo. Maryland delegate Terry Hill introduced a bill to require liability insurance for anyone who carries a gun and forgot to write in an exemption for law enforcement. Terry Hill is also a plastic surgeon, and a couple of years ago she was fined uh, 15 grand for participating in legislative video conferences from her operating room during surgeries. Now that she's been called out for her oversight, she has promised to correct it by exempting cops from the insurance requirement, but I'm not so sure she should. I mean, let's just go ahead and set aside the fact that nobody underwrites the kind of insurance mandated by this law. Even if it was actually available, though, why shouldn't police officers carry it? Doctors carry malpractice insurance. Contractors are bonded. I would like to hear her explain why she thinks police should not be held liable when they cause harm. If you would like to ask her yourself, or perhaps you'd like to ask her if she supports qualified immunity, you can reach her at 410-841-3378. But it would be impossible for us to produce quality 2A propaganda without sponsors. So let's pay some bills. Today's video is sponsored by TNVC.com, your source for bespoke, artisanal, non-GMO night vision products expertly forged by Amish craftsmen in the heart of a dying star. Hey friend, it's dark half the time on this planet. Unless you got magic powers or a mountain of carrots, you need TNVC to see at night. St. Benitez rides again. U.S. District Court Judge Roger Benitez has smacked down California Stan's standard capacity mag ban a couple of times, and back in October, he ruled their Salty Boy ban is also unconstitutional. Now, St. Benitez has ruled their ammo background check is constitutional as well. So the Calistani people are liberated, and there is dancing in the streets, right? Well... Not exactly. The state will, of course, appeal to the Ninth Circuit, which is likely to grant a stay until this decision is reached. Then they will try to run out the clock to keep it away from the Supremes, as is their custom. There could be some back and forth on this, but right now, Calistani cops are enjoined from enforcing the law, and when the dust settles, it's likely to stay that way. But for right now, you can buy ammo in California. What's hilariously ironic about this is that California voters approved a ballot measure that would have created a four-year ammo permit, but the legislature ignored the voters' wishes and rewrote the law, requiring background checks for every single purchase. Benitez noted the permit would have been far more likely to survive judicial review. Well, it looks like the stranger danger regime is pushing for universal registration again. A watchdog group called Empower Oversight posted on X that whistleblowers in the AFT are saying the Biden administration has directed F Troop to ban private sales of firearms and the AFT has whipped up a 1,300-page document to try to justify that position. Now, as you know, requiring sales to go through a dealer with a background check would also mean a digital record of every sale is created. Gun registries are illegal under federal law, and the only reason anyone could have for a list of gun owners is they want to confiscate the guns later. And of course, the only reason someone could have for taking your guns is they plan to do something they couldn't get away with if you were armed. Can Biden do an end run around Congress and get universal background checks with a stroke of the pen? I mean, kind of. It, it worked for Trump on Bumpy Boys. Right now, this story amounts to slightly more than rumor. It's just some dude on the interwebs saying some dude who works for the ATF told him something ambiguous. I'm being somewhat hyperbolic, but it isn't confirmed. But last year's Bipartisan Gun Control Act gave the AFT more room to redefine what qualifies as in the business of selling guns, 
And we've seen time and time again that AFT's signature move is to publish a rule they know that can't pass judicial review because they also know it will be de facto law for years until the courts sort it out. Then, the second it's struck down, they'll issue another, very slightly different rule. On the other hand, it looks as though the Supremes are about to gut Chevron deference in the EPA case. What do you think? There's no question the feds would like to impose universal background checks on us, but do you think they can get away with it? But whether or not they can pull it off at the federal level, there's another idea which might get more traction. The governor of Maine, Janet Mills, which, uh, you know, hold up a sec. I, I know this isn't relative to her policies, but she looks like the kind of gal who appreciates a tall can of natural light to wash down her palm malls on a bass fishing boat. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. I mean, it's fine if that's who you are. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, governors shouldn't be elected for their looks, but this gal looks like Mickey Rourke let his hair grow out. Anyway, her idea is significantly less offensive and legitimately unique. She wants to require any advertised sale to go through a federally licensed gun dealer. So if you want to sell a gun to a friend who you know, you're fine. But if you post your gun on the equipment exchange, you would have to transfer through a dealer even if the buyer is in the same state. Now, obviously, I am opposed to this because I am a gun rights extremist. Why aren't more people intelligent like me? But this is within shouting distance of reasonable, and if the control freaks were to give some sort of compromise like repealing the Hughes Amendment, I don't know, maybe I might even be okay with it on the federal level. After all, I can still make all the off-the-books guns I want at home, and let's be honest, if you're still trying to stay off a list at this point, I think you missed the boat. Have you ever posted a comment on a gun forum or a PewTuber video like mine? Have you ever paid for a gun or ammo or related items using a debit card? Have you ever used Google Maps to find your way to the local fun store? You're, you're already on a list. At this point, the trick is to get on so many lists the Glow Boys think you're one of them. What do you folks think? Would you be willing to accept a relatively small infringement like this one in exchange for rolling back some of the larger existing infringements? Comment below. Tennessee's election officials have ruled that felons who want their voting rights restored must apply to have all their rights restored, including the right to bear arms. I was today years old when I found out a person could petition a court to restore voting rights without restoring the rest of their civil rights. So I guess this makes sense to me. I mean, one could argue that voting is far more potentially harmful than carrying a gun. After all, every time you cast a vote, you exercise political violence. Every law carries the threat of state violence. Look, when you vote, you are exercising political authority. You're using force. And force, my friends, is violence, the supreme authority from which all other authority is derived. Industry News. CMMG is getting into the Whisper Pickle game with a line of silencers they call Def Cam. It will be available in a range of calibers from 22 LR through 308. The 9mm version is constructed of 7075 aluminum using M baffles. They'll be available in QD or direct thread versions and should be in stock at your favorite dealer when you see this video. For more info, click on the link down in the doobly-doo. And now, for your moment of zen. Hey friends! Do you like pews and other pew-related things? Would you like to help us keep delivering you pure and good American pew again at the low, low price of free penny? We literally couldn't pay the bills without our sponsors, so do us a solid and get yourself something nice from them. You deserve it. I love you.